Hey guys, welcome to this video on Google Data Studio. In the last video, I showed you uh, some of the features that are available on Data Studio and I talked uh, at length about uh, how each of them uh, might be used to create good visualizations. In this uh, particular video, I'll show you how to create a very simple dashboard and I'm going to use the exact same data as before, which uh, was the sample YouTube data that uh, is available within Data Studio and very useful for a beginner to just play around with that data. Uh, so let me first explain you what this uh, dashboard is and uh, why things are here the way they are and then I will uh, uh, show you how to create this. Uh, if you want you can uh, follow along with me uh, and you can get some uh, hands-on practice also. Uh, but if you haven't watched the other video I suggest you first watch that and then come back to this one. Uh, okay, so on this dashboard uh, at the left hand top, uh, I have the headline which says YouTube statistics, always a good practice to have the uh, description of your uh, dashboard, the uh, headline, uh, the header which uh, immediately catches attention of the viewer and tells them what this dashboard is about at the top, uh, preferably in a uh, bold um, font. And uh, so this page is all about YouTube statistics. So that's what I decided to name it. Uh, not a, a good idea to have a really lengthy uh, headline. Two to three words is enough. On the right hand side at the top, I have, uh, I showed you this last time. It's uh, a date selector. Basically you can choose a range of date here and your graph will automatically get updated for that uh, date range. Uh, and then uh, here I have four numbers and sometimes it's, uh, you know, is a good idea to just show numbers instead of creating plots and graphs. Um, just putting simple numbers can be equally effective uh, with your viewers and uh, for, you, for uh, a YouTube video, we always want to know the number of likes, the number, number of dislikes, comments, shares. Uh, so I put those numbers at the top and I just chose to go very simple, just put uh, likes, dislikes, just use the uh, phrases and just put the numbers in a very neutral uh, color. Uh, after that, I have uh, the time series trend which I also showed last time. Um, again, if somebody is a YouTuber uh, or you know, if somebody is selling some kind of a product, they might want to know how they are doing over a period of time. So here on the x-axis, we have the watch time and on the y-axis, uh, sorry, on the x-axis, we have the uh, the dates and uh, you know what we are showing is over a period of uh, one and a half months, how was the trend of watch time? And we can see there are ups and downs. So there are some days when watch time is really low, some days it is high. So there is some kind of trend going on over here. Then at the bottom, I have uh, two pie charts, which are actually called donut charts because they have these holes in the middle, just like donuts. Kind of a fun twist to the regular uh, pie chart if you uh, want to use it. Uh, feel free to uh, do that. Uh, so uh, what these are showing are um, most likes by country and most shares by country. So if, uh, you know, I'm a YouTuber, I may want to know uh, people from which country are most interested in my video and who likes my videos most and who shares my videos most so that maybe I can create content that is targeted towards these people more. Uh, same goes for any product. If somebody uh, sees that, you know, product sales are really high in a particular state or a region, uh, they might want to uh, take, make some specific strategies for uh, those um, areas. So that's what uh, I'm just showing here. Uh, and immediately we can see that US seems to be the country which likes uh, the videos the most. I don't know what videos these are, I'm just using sample data. Uh, and also US is the country where there are the most number of shares. And then if you hover your mouse, you can actually 
uh, see more details i'm in the view mode right now if you remember uh, when when you see this edit uh, it means i'm in view mode and if I click on that, then I'll go into edit mode. So right now I'm, I'm in the uh, view mode. And so if I'm ho hovering my mouse, I can see that um, as a country, US is number one for likes. And then the second one is Brazil. Uh, but for shares, it is US. And the second one is IT. I'm not sure what country that is, um, but it seems to be the number two country. And then this um, pink uh, pinkish color is representing others like you know combine all the other countries together uh, so don't get uh, confused uh, and think that okay because this is a big part of the donut so it's not another country it's the same number two country is actually over here uh, and same goes here this it's not another country it just uh, aggregated number for all the remaining uh, countries which are not represented through uh, different colors on the donut chart right and if i go over here and I, I did not show this last time but if i go over here and i click on let me select uh, range so you can select them over here uh, the exact dates you want to go for or you can go for something which comes here uh, let's say I want to see last month so last month was April and I just do apply then uh, the numbers get updated so I can now see that my donor chat has some changes to it and watch time also is showing some different trends so I can see I can choose a different range maybe I can go this month and we can see what's going on there so this month has just started so we are just seeing the trend till uh, in 7th of May so that's a very simple uh, dashboard but uh, now let's go ahead and see how we can uh, create this dashboard and you'll see it's very very easy uh, maybe in the next video I'll show you some of the uh, little uh, tricky things but uh, for today we'll just focus on this uh, simple dashboard so if you uh, haven't uh, go ahead and open your google data studio and uh, uh, we'll get started so what i'm going to do i'm just going to um, create a new page here and try to replicate the same thing over there uh, so i'll just do edit and i'll go over here and i'll do add a new page so I'm using the uh, dashboard I was doing in the last video. So on page one, I have what I was showing in the last video and page two is what I created uh, just now for this video. And then uh, page three is going to be what I'm going to re replicate to show you guys how I created page two. Uh, but if you are just starting, then it will be just page one for you. Uh, so, okay. So now I have this uh, clean page. So the first thing I'm going to do, let me first just uh, try to, okay, let me do one thing. Um, okay, so what I did, I just uh, chose the navigation pane to be here on the left hand side. So then it is easy for me to, you know, uh, scroll uh, back and forth between the pages. So this is page two and now I'm on page uh, three. So I'm going to go into uh, edit mode over here and I'm going to first uh, add uh, the scorecards. So if you remember, I showed you uh, in the last uh, video that you can choose scorecards. So these numbers that I have here, I'm using the scorecard option to create uh, these numbers on Data Studio. So, uh, so when I went and I selected scorecard, just by default, something is coming. So I need to fix it, right? So my first one was likes so over here I have uh, video likes added so I'll just drag and drop it over here in matrix and here uh, I don't have to choose anything because it is already coming as aggregation as sum and that's what I want and then what I'll do uh, I'll just uh, I'm just trying to align it properly 
uh, and then what you can do you can just do con uh, control C control V like you can just copy the same thing again you don't have to start from beginning and here uh, I want to go after likes let's say I want to do dislikes so I'll just take dislikes and I'll just drag and drop it over here so then I get the number of uh, dislikes and then let's say I want to know the number of shares so over here I have uh, video shares all these are columns inside the data and they are set so I just do uh, video shares and then if I copy paste uh, it once more I want to know how many comments I have so let's see so I have uh, user comments over here so I'll uh, take it and I'll put it over here uh, so let's see how close I am so I had likes dislikes comments and shares I just want to see which one I used over here so if you uh, I'll show you later on so let me go there and I just want to make sure that I'm using the right fields because there are a couple of similar fields over here okay so this I have now added the first uh, line of just numbers and I'm just going to kind of align it a little bit I'll move this to the end I'll keep this here and I'm just using the uh, mouse to adjust these uh, you know not doing anything special and then what you can do you can actually change these uh, descriptions and the way you do that is you go to this pencil sign over here and you click on that and you can just give whatever name you want to give and I just want to say likes so then it gets automatically updated on the chart and for this one I just want to give uh, this likes Right, so it gets updated and on this one I want to call it comments this one I want to call it shares okay very easy uh, nothing to uh, you know work too hard <laughs> you can just uh, uh, drag and drop edit the names and your first line is uh, ready uh, and it was kind of easy because uh, we just had to do a sum but uh, it may be a bit tricky if we have to do some other calculations on the field so uh, you know we also have options to kind of create a field and stuff like that we will look at that in future videos for but this is very simple if you want to just get started it's always good to start with something simple and then go uh, further and uh, learn the you know harder tricks okay so the first line is ready and I'm going to just uh, to add the date is very easy you just need to click on this icon it will be there and all you have to make sure that wherever this date range dimension is there you are putting the date field and if you have more than one date field then you have to make sure that the correct date field is here uh, so that when you choose this uh, date range uh, on this uh, filter it is correctly uh, choosing the date field so if you make a mistake in giving the date field over here then it will all mess it up so in this luckily I just have one date field so I'm just giving uh, the date if you see everywhere the date field is selected sometimes it may not get automatically selected then make sure that you have it over there if you want the chart to get updated based on the date range then you have to give the date range uh, choose the date range dimension over here and you just have to drag and drop like I said before okay so that's out of our way so let's see what's the next thing we had uh, so we had a very simple uh, line chart so let's try, give it a try uh, I'll go over here I'll choose this and it's done it is that easy <laughs> there's nothing complicated uh, I mean in this case it shows the watch time by default if you have some data that it does not choose the right field like I showed you you can just go and drag and drop the right field uh, to the uh, to the particular parameter and it will update it so I have this over here and then I want to uh, create my uh, donut charts so I'll just go here and I'll just select um, either I'll show you uh, how you can I'll just go 
I'm going to choose the pie chart and I'll show you how you can convert this into a donut chart. I did not deliberately choose the donut chart so that I can show you. So if I go to style, so here is an option where if I uh, select it, I can choose what is the radius of my uh, hole in my donut chart. So you can do that. And here by default, it is choosing some uh, ID field, I think it's, uh, some video ID or something yeah it's choosing that but uh, we need our country isn't it so I'm going to take my country code and I'm going to put it over there uh, but then I want to know likes and shares so in my metric I need to choose uh, video likes okay so you have to be careful what you're choosing and then once again I will just copy paste it here so then I don't have to worry uh, to make sure that my uh, donut holes are symmetric so that's why I'll just copy paste it and here instead of likes I just want to know about shares so I'll drag and drop shares so then it will get updated right and if I want to now change my colors I showed you last time you can go over here and you can choose any color that you like and I'm happy with where my legend is and also I'm not going to play around with it but you can do whatever you want to do you can go to style button you can style it in any way you like to and I'm also not going to change any of the default colors over here but remember that you can change any colors you want and then I now have my plot so I would like to now add some uh, headlines and descriptions so that people who come to this plot who may not be aware uh, of what this plot is about they don't get confused so for that I'm going to choose uh, the text box and I'm going to just adjust it and uh, take it here over side and I'll just call it uh, YouTube statistics and then I'm just going to uh, adjust it a little bit, make it bigger and make it bold. Yeah, so it's YouTube statistics. And then uh, let's see what I called the other ones. Most likes by country, most shares by country. So nothing complicated. I can get one more thing. I can just say most likes by country. And I can just put it here if you want you can put it in the top whatever you like and I'm once again going to copy paste it and I'm going to move it over here and I'm just going to this one was most shares by country right so now if I go into my view mode so that's what I have. Let's see how similar it is to before. Okay, so I have these ones a little bigger in font as compared to this one. So I'm just going to change it very easy. Once again, just go to style and uh, make it a little bigger. Yeah, I think this is better. Because these are numbers, so uh, it's better to you know make them a little bigger so that they can catch uh, attention and they can on their own uh, stand out you know because if you have other plots sometime if you make your numbers very small then the user may just miss it right so if you want to make a good impact just with numbers then have the numbers in a bigger font so that uh, they look good okay so now I think it is very very similar to uh, where we started off with right so the only difference is maybe just aligning it a little bit so now if I want to go ahead and sorry I live very close to airport so always there are <laughs> flights so okay so let's see I'm not sure how much data is in there I just chose last quarter so let's see if something shows up okay so their data is starting from like March so let me choose last month 
and it works right so a very simple dashboard and uh, you can uh, try uh, creating something like this and uh, play around with a little bit uh, and I really hope that this video helped you. If it did, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel and also follow us on Facebook. I will create a um, few more videos on uh, Data Studio. In the next video, we will learn something a little bit more difficult. And till then, uh, practice uh, because uh, learning any new tool is all about practice. Data Studio is very, very easy once you know how to use it uh, so okay practice and then i'll be back with another video in uh, the weekend i guess thank you so much for watching and have a good weekend ahead thank you